All right, hello, Mr. Fixits out there. So I'm going to do a real quick video here on a no heat situation on a Coleman 3400 series electric mobile home furnace. This is a 19.6 kilowatts. Pumps out some pretty good heat for this particular mobile home. So I've previously taken this unit apart to save time here. By the way, for all you safety sallies, all the power is off. The breakers are off. You definitely uh, want to make sure your breakers are off. You don't want to work on this thing hot, especially first going into it. It says danger right there for a reason. Okay, so the original complaint with this furnace was last winter blowing out more cold air than usual. The heat would come on, uh, it'd get the house up to temperature, and then the elements would turn off and the fan motor would continue to blow for about another five minutes. I uh, went to turn it on this year and it just wouldn't fire up at all. This is your manual auto switch here and when I went over to manual I could get everything to work. Um, it would heat up, get up to temperature and it would um, Elements would turn off, the heating elements would turn off, but it, the fan would keep blowing. I go back over here to automatic, and it would not work from the uh, thermostat, but every other time or two. Uh, the thermostat did have voltage to it, and so I knew that the little thermostat uh, transformer uh, was good. Um, I had proper voltage on all the fuses. Um, Generally, what happens on these electric furnaces are we have these little sequencers here. And these sequencers are 9 out of 10 times are the problem with these furnaces. Um, these se sequencers um, basically switch the heating elements in and out and the fan motor off and on. And what will happen is you'll turn your thermostat on, uh, the sequencer will turn on the fan, it will blow for a few seconds and then turn on the heat elements. When they get up to temperature then the sequencer will turn those off and the fan motor will run uh, until the chassis has cooled down enough and the elements have cooled down enough to be safe and then the furnace shuts down. Um, like I say, 9 out of 10 times this will, will be your problem. And even if it's not, uh, and you do replace these sequencers, it's a good thing to do because your furnace will run a lot more efficient with a new set of those in there. This is what those units look like. Like this. This happens to be the old uh, set that I took out. And they're basically really easy to uh, replace. You have the screw up here on the top right corner. And what you do is you just unscrew that and then pull it out like that. Take it out of this little hinge right here. And um, what you'll want to do is you'll want to swap over one wire at a time. And you'll just want to take the wire, say off, say this yellow wire off this pin, and put input to that pin, and as well as all the rest of them. You uh, reinstall it. Um, check it. Make sure it's running properly. Um, and nine out, like I say, nine out of ten times it will be these sequencers. You can get these on the internet for about twenty-nine bucks, um, and I'll put that information on there. Uh, there's a guy I discovered that's uh, very helpful uh, down in South Dakota, and you can kind of prick his brain a little bit and order the parts from him. And I am telling you, his uh, customer service and his shipping is just stellar, absolutely stellar. Real quick turnaround time. I was really impressed. Anyway, sequencers, replace them. They do get old after a while. So if your furnace is currently running properly, but um, when the heating elements turn off, uh, the fan motor blows and just keeps blowing cold air for several minutes and then shuts down, it's these sequencers starting to go. And you'll have a more efficient uh, furnace. Lower your heating build as well, too. So anyway... Uh, we're going to clean this up, get uh, get all the lint out of here, put some new filters in, and uh, button her up.
this sucker will be good to go for quite a while. Replace your filters every couple of months, um, and that'll help keep them clean. So, anyway, enjoy. Good luck on this project. Uh, I hope this uh, video helps you. Thanks for watching.